I wonder how often two fish will go for the same lure like that. Or more often than not, one fish goes and there's like 30 fish watching being like, Poor stupid Tony. He's for sure getting caught. How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to the upcoming game River Legends A Fly Fishing Adventure. This is a pre-release look at the game over on Steam. It's also going to be available on mobile devices coming later this month. No precise release date yet. I absolutely love that a duck is giving me the tutorial. It seems that the layout of the controls is kind of uh, remaining the same from what you would expect to see on mobile, having the UI be like the different things you click here rather than various different button inputs. So something to keep in mind. I have literally never fly fished before. I don't even know if I've properly ever real fished. So yes, this tutorial is very necessary. None of this is going to be intuitive to me. For some reason I really love fishing games. So you're trying to hit this tension sweet spot rolling things in. In. It's pretty difficult and you can kind of click around and try and keep a good balance going and, and really force it in one particular direction there. I think we've nearly caught the little bugger. We caught a world record brook trout. Oh, you can get experience or gold. Keep an eye out for the river legend. There's one key legend that we're trying to catch all this time. Your license kind of details your experience and the fish caught and everything like that. I like that. It's nice and simple. There's these different areas that are kind of circled that show the prime fishing spots, most of which I don't have the experience to go to. Red Rock Canyon. I'm fairly certain I've been there. Are these real places? Forest, pond, pine forest. I guess they're just really generic names. I just happen to have been to a real world Red Rock Canyons that totally threw me off. The forest pond is the only one we can go to. We need three experience before we can move on. Our different trophy fishes just highlighting the, the best size we've ever caught of each different fish. You can kind of patrol around, maybe see if you want to pick a different spot. I don't want to go straight for the dock. I'm going to try and mix things up a little bit. Maybe we try and catch a duck along the way. It's rainy. <laughs> I'm glad I consulted on, on the weather then. What was that? Get back here, rabbit. I don't appear to be able to interact with or catch the rabbit. I was going to catch him and use him as my bait. Oh, you need better boots before you can go too far into the water. That's cool that you can actually like gear up and everything. I like the idea of that. Set my angle, confirm, wing that bad boy around, toss her on out. I just slowly, slowly try and ring her in, try and entice this big guy who's creeping on past. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, he's interested now. Oh, this little one's going to go for it first. Damn, not a great start. We'll get better. We're gonna try and cast out here towards all these ducks. Seems like there's much more action going on out this way. Oh, that was a hell of a cast. So far, so strong. <laughs> I can see all these fish like jumping around and feeding and stuff. You guys are supposed to go after my lure. Not real animals, not real bugs and real food. Go for the fake plastic piece, you'll love it. Although if this is like fly fishing, it might actually be like flies on the lure or something. I don't know what by definition makes it fly fishing. Like I said, I'm a real rookie. I've gotten bites. Oh, I keep forgetting that I'm supposed to like set set things when I get a bite like that. You have to do a quick swipe to like catch the line before you start reeling it in. I've been getting ahead of myself. Oh, there we go. Finally wrestling one in beyond the tutorial. I feel like odds are good here. Just gotta get him that last little bit. Keep it nice and close. Woohoo! Brook trout's not even one pound. Kind of terrible. I'll I'll take the experience. I think just for practice. Practice makes perfect. Perfect makes better, bigger fishes. One pound six ounces. There's a new record. Oh, sick! I can go to a new map. But I I barely have caught anything particularly interesting here. I might try and try my luck a little bit longer. See if we can catch one of these big guys rather than just the same old trouts over and over again. Twelve seconds later. I don't know if my lure just sucks or if I suck or if it's the fish that suck, these big guys aren't willing to go for it ever. Oh, he 
He's going, he's going, he's coming. Yeah, 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 no. <laughs> I clicked like totally the wrong things to, to lure that guy in. The small fish, you just kind of don't really have to try and you just automatically kind of reel them in. You just keep that window nice and tight. The big guys are tricky. They wrestle you a lot harder and it's harder to hit the appropriate window there. Let's see, trying to get it just right, just right, just right. Oh, it got away. I think I was moving my mouse around too much. I, I think I just am supposed to click in the middle. I like the idea of supercharging your cast by wiggling it around a bunch like that. It makes it feel like how Mario would go fishing or something. I don't think, I don't think winging it back and forth a bunch builds up momentum. <laughs> I don't think that's quite how physics works. Aw, oh, record size rainbow trout. I'm gonna take gold for the first time. That guy was a, a, a record fish. I'm gonna mount that bad boy on the wall. All three quarters of a pound of him. I don't know how to interpret this thing in the center at all. Oh, the shop. I've only saved up two gold, but what could I buy? A streamer or a nymph wet fly? No, I can't afford the streamer. It's just no weird order there that threw me off. Best for sunny days when fish are deep. I'm gonna buy it, but I'm, I'm not gonna use it immediately. The dry fly is good for when they're gorging on the surface insects, which is totally what's happening right now. Oh, interesting. This is like the depth at which I should use the different lures, I guess. Maybe would have been helpful to know slightly more about fish, maybe? Now we'll figure it out. Oh, we got a big guy hooked. I read a tip that said in the early stages of trying to catch a fish, especially the big ones, to maybe try and keep it up in the in the yellow, kind of really bend the hell out of the rod. Ah, ah, get back up there, get back up there, get back up there. It's really fighting it. Alright, alright, now we can even it back out again. No, damn it! Okay, that's insanely tough. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the fish to get a second wind like that. I spooked him by throwing it right at him. The second wind really caught me off guard and was incredibly difficult to fight against. All right, well, I'm gonna try out the pine forest. Give a, give a new area a try. We have a, a much sunnier day out. It's cloudy, so I feel like they might still try and uh, fish, fish near the top. You can see them snap at bugs, it should be fine. This river is so narrow that like, you don't really have any time to make a mistake. If the fish uh, fights you at all, then it's just gonna get away. Fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it, come on, it's so close. Oh, okay, even it out. He's gonna fight me again though, I bet, isn't he? He's just luring me into a false sense of security. There's like a squirrel running around at the top there. That's awesome. I love that squirrel. I would love to partner up with the squirrel in some way. I need a friend. Someone to hold my spare line. This is way too difficult. Spam it. Spam the hell out of it. Come on. Get tired, you son of a bitch. We have Moby Dick over here. It's probably like the most average sized fish there ever was. And he's still kicking my ass. I've been reeling him in for like a minute now. Oh, come on, don't fight again. I'm, I can't, I can't deal with that. Just, just come in nice and slow. A white sucker. That's right, you are a sucker. I schooled your shit, you stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> gonna stop calling these fish bitches. I think I'm gonna hang on to the experience. Seems like, uh, it's gonna be valuable eventually sometime. Oh, I like where I am down the river here, because I can just reel it in, let the river kind of float it out a little bit. Reel it in, kind of reset, retry, don't have to recast over and over again. That's thinking. That's strategic. Masterclass Fisher. That's what happens when you reach Fisherman Experience 5. Ah! Well, he's escaping again. Okay. <laughs> the squirrel distracted me. I'm like that dog and up can't handle it when he comes running by. Record size rainbow. Ah, uh, it's not everything in this river is gonna be worth the extra gold, extra experience. It's only these new fish that are specific to where I am right now. Beaver pond's available when I feel ready to move on to that. I mean, guys, I am experience five. I, I may just be ready for a new environment. I've got like two fish in this pond. I feel like I've conquered it. Oh, the sucker, that like artwork for the sucker is noticeably smaller and he's worthless.
He's he's not worthless, but he's worth less. So it's not just a matter of the species of fish. It's it's way 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 more about size. Size matters when you're fly fishing, I guess. I feel like I got my ideal spot here. Crowded with a bunch of big fish. They can't really go anywhere, so they're bound to go for my lure sooner or later. It's a perfect strategy. Oh crap! Really really feisty one though. <laughs> Feisty fighting flounder. I don't know if it's actually a flounder. It's just the only F fish I can think of, and I wanted the alliteration. Record trout. I'll take the money, I guess. I so rarely take the money. I'm not in it for the glory, the, the, the pay. I guess I am in it for the glory. <laughs> Every time I take experience, it feels like I'm going for the glory. And now here I am. Not going to be a very glorious fisher if I can't even cast a single damn line. You're either going for the wealth or the fame. Oh, this guy grabbed a hold so far away from where I'm actually standing. I'm going to have to lure for so long. He's not fighting too aggressively. There it is. There it is. I was waiting for it. I knew it had to come eventually. Maybe I just keep my mouse up in this top portion and just kind of uh, really casually real, real, real. Although if you leave it too tight for too long, you can break it. So I still have to try and oh, I still have to try and keep it in that green. Of course he tries to fight right in that last millisecond when I've let my guard down and think that I've nailed it. Uh, this is a slow going one. I got time to take a sip of tea. How do you reel in a fish with only one hand? That's something only a um, experienced eight fisherman could tell you. <laughs> How far will this thing actually pull away? I'm way over to the left here behind this tree. I'm not confident there's actually a limit if I just let the current take it on away. It's gonna be a long ass way to fight the fish. We're gonna tire that sucker out. Regardless of whether or not, not it's actually a sucker. There we go. The longest possible way I could go. Just the least efficient way to fish possible. But this is how you catch these fish unawares. These sly, devilish, intelligent fish. They know to stay away from me, so I bring the, uh, the lure out to them. What do you know, it was a sucker in the end after all. These guys are going nuts! How many insects are there right there? That's where I ought to be casting my line, if that's where you guys are all paying all of your attention. Come on, I'm just another insect. Go for it. Take a bite. Yeah, yeah, nice and close. Nice and easy one for me. As long as you don't fight at all. I got all kinds of money. What can I buy now? Fly boots, cross shallow water while staying dry in these comfortable wading boots. Not for deep water. You can go for a uh, better fishing rod, so that's what I already have. The medium rod, upgrade to this fly fishing rod for a better chance of landing those trophy fish. Flashlight, some places just need exploring. This flashlight's perfect for the job. I think flashlight fishing is a thing. If you're uh, at night, you can shine the flashlight on the water and the fish will all come to it. I think it might be illegal in some like ponds and fisheries and stuff because they don't want you just wiping out the fish with your flashlight. Sunglasses needed to catch legendary fish in the mountains. An ID guide. No more mystery fish. Easily identify every species in Pine Canyon. Am I occasionally coming across mystery fish? Has that ever come up? I thought I had more gold than I did. <laughs> oh, a fishing map to know precisely which ones are where. Winter coat outlasts the cold in this warm weather resistant coat. Has the weather been affecting me? I don't even know. And a fishbone bracelet. There's just something about wearing this bracelet that makes catching a river legend seem so much more likely. Oh, colorful fly resembling a bait fish. I shall buy it. And these dumb fish won't know what hit him. I also think I have the experience to go to Beaver Pond, so I think I'd like to investigate a new area. Might as well just try and cover lots of new ground while we're at it. Ah, oh, I love beavers so much. We've seen like squirrels and ducks and things. Presumably, we'll get to see a beaver swimming around. Ah, oh, just dumb duck. Beaver! Beaver, beaver, beaver! <laughs> Found one absolutely immediately. It'd be really funny if you could like reel in beavers and stuff. But that's more of like a ridiculous fishing thing. And this is like more of a, a realistic take on cartoony fishing. Which is, you know, kind of counterintuitive, kind of confusing. But yeah, I think it makes sense. What's on the other side? Oh, gotta buy some boots. Oh, I really want to. All right, we're saving up for boots. Eight coins, gonna sell everything, no experience needed. 
I'm just trying to get over to there. Fishing in the river where the water kind of just naturally took your line towards more fish made things a lot simpler. I might end up going back there. But presumably there's like a larger, more valuable fish in this pond to be caught. Yeah, the cutthroat guy, he's giant. Look at, the, look at the size of this guy, four pounds? Wasn't even that hard to catch, really. But when I cast my line, you spook the fish and they all run away, so you gotta, I gotta cast like ahead of them and let the line reel on in, which I hadn't checked here. The weather is considered just cloudy still. Quit blowing this way. I gotta go to the other side of the pond so that my, my line isn't just getting pulled into sticks and stuff all the time. Oh, you totally need boots to utilize like any of the good uh, sections of this map. There's something about this part of the water that doesn't have a current. The line just was staying perfectly still. Right around here. You can see those little pixels kind of showing you where the current runs too, which I hadn't realized before. So yeah, I'm just totally out in like a still water area. Huh, winding up the line before casting it totally sends it out farther. Doesn't make any sense, but the video game logic is consistent. I like fishing in this little stream, hanging out with my squirrel friends. I'm gonna come back here for a little bit. First ever brown trout. Oh, I'm getting carried away across here. I might end up straight through the rocks. Oh, he's going for it. I got you now. I tricked him nice and good like. Come on. It's impossible how hard he fights. Oh, you can totally just hold rather than spamming the hell out of the button. Oh, goodness. That's going to make things a lot easier. I'm done. I'm gonna pull it away from the rocks as much as I can and just let's see how far the current takes it. Ah, every time I try that little experiment, uh, some dumb fish decides it's time for a, a snack. I'm not here trying to catch fish. I'm trying to see how long I can let my fishing line run out for. I want to be the river legend. I don't care about the fish in the pond. Oh yeah, we got the gold we need to buy ourselves some nice boots. And I should be able to kind of just like walk out in the water a little bit. Nope, no, not, not in any of these areas, I guess. Now we can go to where the real fish are in the beaver pond. None of these dumb pretend fish. What the hell? Oh, it's like a butterfly. Thought it was a weird seahorse or some like fantasy sea creature going on. Look how weird and crooked my legs look right now. I know he's just got a bit of a bend in his knees to try and help him catch those fish, brace himself to to lure in for a nice, nice quick cast. But anyways, he just makes him look like he's got these weird busted ass noodly legs. Get out of here, beaver. I was choking before. I don't actually want to catch you. I doubt you're worth any points. You probably bust up my line with your big janky teeth. Oh yeah, big guy, big guy. First time hooking a big guy since I found out that you can just hold the damn button instead of spam clicking it. I must need like a better rod or something because I, I like couldn't do that even holding it down. Oh, it's sunny. I should be using my, my like weighted lure. This will make all the difference. Just you wait and see. That was the one thing that was holding me back. This one's actually putting up a pretty good fight. I feel like he's about to go for another big struggle now right close to me like this. Oh, so close. Almost there. Come to your new father. <laughs> Don't want to call myself daddy, but I kind of earned that title, I think. Rainbow Trout, big one, record holder. You know that Adam Sandler movie, Big Daddy? That's about me and my fishing career. They wrapped it up in a bunch of le uh, like metaphors and stuff. They cast a big name actor or two. It's it, the original intent is a little bit lost. Scuba Steve, good friend of mine. He's, uh, he's, he couldn't make it today. I'm fishing solo. Usually he'd be here with me. Yeah, bet you didn't know that that was all based on, on real factual events. The screenwriters didn't know it either. 
Oh, big guy, big boy. Come on, come on, come on. Don't fight me too hard. I want to actually make a good catch. Hey, switching to the heavy lure made of, might have actually like made a real difference here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, I, I've totally fought back against him. And I'm going to have to thank the lure because I can't think of what else. Shit. It's really tough when they fight like six separate times that they don't do it once and get tired. They just keep, keep at it. It's persistent fish. Where are the tired, weak, frail old fish at? I don't want these young bucks who are able to shake off my mad fishing skills. Oh, what the heck? I can go to Falls Creek. I can skip Canyon Creek. That one way up there needs 30. This guy down here needs 20. But I can go to Falls Creek. This is new. I might as well check it out. It's a downpour. It's really, really raining on us today. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can go out on the rocks here. Dangerously try and straddle my feet across a bunch of slippery, wet boulders. It will certainly not end in catastrophe. Oh, it moves so damn fast. I'm not even reeling it in. That's just the fast-moving waters here. It makes it tricky. Record brook trout. Well, it's worth zero experience, so I guess I'm going money on that one. What am I saving up for right now? Probably the bigger rod. All right, well, there's a ton of fish up there and everything. Whoa, we got a deer. Big old buck. He's kind of skinny, actually, but he's tall. What a, a slender looking guy. Yeah, I, I figure I might as well cast downstream. Oh, shit, the waterfall is actually a thing. I hope I don't have to reel in up a waterfall now. I feel like that seems like a physical impossibility, but we're gonna try it. Show how tough we are. Waterfall's got nothing on us. The great destructive force of a mighty downpour of water? Nah, man. I got a string on a stick. Oh, he's eyeballing it. Nah, he bailed. Just eating insects. Just going for the bugs. The freebies. Oh, now's my chance. Caught him right before the edge of the waterfall. Not that I think it actually makes a difference in catching these fish. Please, please. It's been so long since I caught a big one. My reputation in the fly fishing community has been shattered of late. Oh, you trying to fight me, are ya? Too bad. I know all the strategies, all the tricks, all the tools of the trade at this point. No fish can best me. Aw, oh, cutthroat trout. That might be the first one of these we got. Nine pounds, three ounces, massive. Not just a personal record, probably a world record. I think it's safe to assume, out based on, like, nothing. I wonder how often two fish will go for the same lure like that. Or more often than not, one fish goes, and there's, like, 30 fish watching being like, Poor stupid Tony. He's for sure getting caught. That should be enough to go and buy myself a big meaty medium rod, which presumably is stronger and better in every way. I don't know if you guys know this, but when you're fishing for shopping for fishing gear, what you really want is meaty fishing gear. That's an adjective you're commonly going to want to keep an eye out for. The meatier, the beefier, the juicier the fishing rod. Ah, uh, that's, that's what you're going to want to invest in. Oh, maybe the maybe the waterfall does cause things to become a little trickier. There was, un unless that fish just chose to put up a fight at that exact same position. The game's become quite a bit easier now that I have, have some better gear to work with. Which is nice, because the progress was going very slow up till now. Nowhere near as slow as real fishing, though. I've kind of crossed over to a point where most of the fish I'm catching don't earn actual experience. They can only be sold off for gold. I guess people just aren't impressed by that size anymore once you reach a certain threshold of experience. So yeah, like things under a pound, I basically just have to sell. I'm trying to establish greater experience, and I just keep making money. Strange to think of uh, earning a, a consistent income like this as being a, a negative. Not a feeling I'm accustomed to. This episode is brought to you by my own desperation and desire to earn a living and keep a roof over my head and a minimum of two meals a day. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting thing they did with the sound design. You can actually, like, hear differences when you're near the water and not. That's, I hadn't noticed that immediately. And the sun just came out. I didn't realize the weather was kind of, like, actively changing on the fly like that. <laughs> on the fly. 
I'm going back to like the zero experience vanilla area now that I have like better gear and everything. I'm just curious to see uh, if I can catch some like cool fish here now. Canyon Creek is now available. I was able to gain a little bit more experience. Come on, big guy. Uh, all these little ones keep being drawn in like that. Like, I, I was running it away from him and he still chased it down. Now I'm going to catch him just for being dumb. But it's not the kind of fish I actually want right now. Come on, I got a crowd of big ones here. Perfect. Just what I was looking for. I got my medium rod. I got my nice fishy, uh, fancy, fancy fish tackle. I guess it's fishy as well. <laughs> I doubt this guy is a legit river legend, but at least he should be worth a lot of money and or experience. Oh, baby. I almost gotcha. It's so close. Yes, what is it? Rainbow Trout World Record. <laughs> I'm just always tempted to say world record when I see record like that. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get experience. I haven't been earning experience too easily lately, so it's probably worth it. Maybe I should buy, like, the flashlight or, or the coat? I don't even know what good the coat would do. I guess if I'm going to that alpine area. I, I'm gonna see what the flashlight properly contributes. Maybe the fish ID guide while we're at it. Pine Canyon is the the whole thing is Pine Canyon, correct? Yeah. I'm looking at my trophies so far. I want to see what the biggest is of everything. Sasquatch sighting, uh, true angler, golden trout, grayling, river legend, multi-species king. I like totally didn't even appreciate that. Um, not all of these were just fish. Fish sightings and things like that. I want to see Sasquatch. <laughs> oh, Falls Creek. Is this... Have I not gone here before? This totally seems different. What's this I can climb up to? Oh, there's a cave. Oh, this is what the flashlight's for. What in the hell? This is like a whole new part of this game I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting... I almost was half-jokingly thinking like, Oh, I should do an Easter Eggs and Secrets video <laughs> on this game. Turns out there is a little bit something to be explored. I'm guessing this is about the extent of it, but maybe I'll find like a golden rod or something like that. What is out here? I'm not seeing anything. I can hear water running though. Oh, here's an extra little corner. Some TNT perhaps. Found five gold. What do you know? There's a little bit to be found out here. Might as well just pull up my shop out in the middle of a dark cave. Yeah, I'll buy, I'll buy the map. Why not? Then I'll know where everything, everything lives. Uh, I'll be a tiny bit disappointed if that gold is the only thing that's actually out here. I was really hoping I would find some weird, unique item or something. Well, that was a fun little detour. I was... I gotta say, part of me was really hoping that was gonna be how you found Sasquatch. Sasquatch totally must live up in the Alpine though, right? If Kokanee commercials have taught me anything, that's where he'll be spending his time. Either that or at the Gorge Canyon in Washington. Hey, first grayling. He's tiny, but it's my first, so it's still a world record. <laughs> It floated back to directly in front of me like this. I want a fish to come bite this because I won't have to reel at all. I'll just pick my like line out of the water and that'll be it. Always oh, going for it. Let's see. Oh, I. It was hard to tell that it was actually rippling because of them. Well, whatever. Fine. But moving on. Oh, hello you. How's it going, dear friend? My dear old dear friend. Oh, can I explore up here too? Darn. That would have been too fun. This area is neat because of the little side secret thing, but the fishing isn't that good overall. Pretty hard to find anything worth catching. Sup, buddy? You wanna just keep me company while I do a little bit of fishing? Alright, see you later. Thanks for the small talk. Ah, he's just hovering around. I like having- I like having a friend. It's a lonely business out here, catching little tiny fish stick fish. 
I'll name him Kanye West because he loves fish sticks. Oh, cool. So here's here's my reference guide showing specifically what can be found where. So I don't have a golden trout or a river legend yet, which I, I wasn't expecting to. I don't have the spectacles for it or anything. I'm pretty sure I have to be up in the alpine for that. Yeah, the golden ones can only be found up in the alpine as well. Come on, I went all the way down the waterfall for you. You gotta take it. Oh, I got snagged at the last second. I feel like he was I feel like he was interested too. I guess I'll buy the jacket since I just happen to have it. I'm I'm just slowly earning like the one coin at a time when I'm trying to trying to get just one last experience to go to the Red Rock Canyon. I'm so damn close. I like that you can actually hear like the wood frogs and the uh, wetland bird species and stuff around here. This is like the starting area, but I had so much more luck finding fish that were actually worth experience here before. So I've, I've come back yet again. There, finally! I wasted so much time trying to gain experience in these other areas and the, the starting one seems to be the best to go to. So I can get browns, cutthroats, and whitefish here. Oh, it's real nice. Looking real sharp. I guess I better run a loop and see if there's any little, like, hidden extra areas to be discovered. Run out around these rocks. Poke my head around in the actual canyon area. No ladders or anything to be seen, unfortunately. Oh, there totally is! There totally is! <laughs> Slip on back here. Oh, that, that looked a little strange, but it was hard to tell that that was a, an actual entrance. Ooh, music in here is a little neat. Never mind, it was just a jingle at the start. The music ended immediately. <laughs> Probably worth a fortune. What? Oh, mammoth tusks. Oh, okay, I was like, what, is, what am I seeing and why am I not taking it with me? I'm a fisherman, not an archaeologist. Gotta leave these tusks behind. Not worth a penny to me. Ancient tarot glyphs, which totally... Petro, petroglyphs, sorry, not tarot, but uh, it's like... That is the thing. I, I'm, I'm trying to think what petroglyphs are versus like pictographs and pictograms and different things. They, they, they totally have separate meanings. One has to do with it being like carved into the rock versus drawn on the rock and whether it's like pictures versus... Uh, there's a, a bunch of different meanings. But look, they're fishing all the way back then. Cool. They must have loved fishing. Maybe they just loved the fish. Maybe they were as bored as the actual f at the f bored of the actual fishing aspect, as you know the the average person tends to be. Well, three gold is the only thing I've found in here so far. That's disappointing. I mean, I've found fun little secrets and stuff, but like no special items or anything. Again, less money than the last cave I found and explored. I think that three gold was pretty much all there actually was up there. I'm doing one of these crazy long reel-ins. But the camera's panning to me, making it seem like I'm doing really, really well, but the line is still like a million miles away. That's totally funny, I hadn't realized before until I cast one that long that the camera is not following the line, the camera is tracking like your progress to actually catching it, even if that is nowhere near where your line currently is. Yeah, so even when you catch a fish a centimeter away from yourself, that's not very representative of how far or how hard you're going to have to fight or anything like that. World record trout. I gotta take the experience, I think. It just seems very hard to properly gain experience at the, the level that I'm currently at. The starting area is the best place to go fishing. That's where you're gonna get all the biggest fish, all the experience, all the money. It's kind of goofy. There's not weird currents that pull your line into into rocks and 
shore shot sides and and beaver dams and things that that immediately cause your line to break it's just like free easy easy going fishing you know oh <laughs> one more experience and two more gold away i guess 12 more gold away from buying everything but one more experience from accessing the final area Ooh, I haven't fished from out on this log yet. I totally forgot that that was uh, an option earlier. Just had to get the right boots first. Funny thing, I've never actually been like proper fishing, except for just like for an hour or two off of like a dock or something. Like we didn't catch anything. It was just to kill an afternoon sort of thing. But I have an electro fishing certificate, which allows you to go out into a river and like zap fish. And it just kind of sends a little current through their body that just stuns them for a few seconds and allows you to scoop them up. Then you can like take measurements on them and stuff. I got the certificate. I helped out with it with a group for like a day or two. And that was the extent of the electro fishing I've ever done. This guy's a monster. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm going to take the gold on that one, because I'm only one experience away. It would almost be a waste to, to claim the three experience. But yeah, electro fishing. Kind of a neat thing. It has an insane amount of, like, safeties in place, so, like, you can't electrocute yourself or the people you're working with or anything like that. But, I mean, you're still working with electricity in the water, no matter how minor or mild the shocks are. So, yeah, there was, like, a whole course you have to take to make sure you're, like, extra, extra, extra safe. Yeah, makes me wish I could just zap all these fish and then just scoop them up with a net. Much easier. The Alpine Lake map is now available. I have the gold to buy either the polarized glasses, which you need to spot the legendary fish, and the bracelet that just makes it easier to catch. So I'm going to need to be able to see it first thing, and then we can worry about making it easier to catch. I'm also just going to run a quick lap around the different areas I didn't fully explore previously. Look for caves or areas that need flashlights, things like that. Oh, there's there's this little area you can slip up um, in the pine forest that I can run out across the logs and end out end up back here. But that might just be for getting like different angles on on your fishing and things like that. I startled the deer, but yeah, it's totally just to give you access to a different uh, area to fish from. I don't see any any other secrets along the way. I do like that the boots kind of expand the area you could explore. They could take that further too with like boots and then like hip waders and chest waders to, to allow yourself to go deeper into the waters. Alright, I found every secret area short of accessing the true alpine. And of course I'm going to immediately explore around here. Jeez, it's kind of creepy. Oh! That did not look like an entrance of any sort. Yeah, there, okay. But you could hear, like, crows outside and stuff. It's like going north of the wall in Game of Thrones. It's a little bit intense up here. Good thing I bought my coat. Am I hearing, like, water dripping, a fire crackling, ice cracking? What is this sound? A slag, my forest! Found two gold. Oh, another little pile. Two more gold and more! Six gold! This is the richest we've ever been made via one singular cave so far. Oh, another two. Eight. Eight gold in this bad boy. Deep dark hole of little use. Well, we should stick our line down there and see what's going on. Can't cast from here. That's disappointing. Dang, I wouldn't know what's going on down there. Oh, even the sound effect is different for walking around on, on the snow. It's a nice small little detail there. But that was all that we could find was like somewhere between eight and ten dollars. Oh, I have enough now that I can just buy the bracelet while I'm at it. So I, I have everything at this point. I'm all ready to catch a legend. But I want to explore a little, a little bit more and see if I can like find Sasquatch while while we're at it, since I know that's something to keep an eye out for. Oh, come on, that guy's so big. It's got to be something. There's a chance that that guy's a legend. It's hard to know for sure. I assume those are meant to be just little birds, but they look very strange when they're only made out of like six pixels. World record grayling. 
I should probably just not bother reeling in unless it's the big guy. Oh, it started snowing. I don't have any uh, experience or, or gold that I need to be trying to earn. All I'm in it for it now is like the reputation. The big crown of claiming that I caught the big guy. Come on, you gotta give up, you gotta give up, you gotta stop, you gotta stop, man! No, he's gonna get away! Ah, oh, you SOB. Maybe I'm using the wrong lure for snowing weather. Deep, cold, and remote, few have fished its waters. Rumors tell of massive trophy fish lurking in the depths. Bitterly cold and a grueling hike to reach. It's truly a challenge to access. The species are golden trout, grayling, and the legends themselves. But no hints on how to actually maybe try and catch it, you know? Peering so randomly, anchors use trinkets to increase the odds. Well, I think I've invested in all the trinkets I possibly could have. This is my boy. My white whale! I might have said that earlier in the episode about, like, a tiny little brook trout or something. <laughs> It's getting so close. He ha—he honestly hasn't fought that much just yet. Oh, there he was going for it. Oh, come on. It's so close. It's so obviously so close. Keep wrestling. You got to give up. Oh, you got to give me. You got to give me that window to gain it back under control. Oh, come on. Just got to keep fighting against it. Holding it in the green for so long. The green is when it actually like reels in properly. Oh. Come on, no, oh, it holds flat. I got I got to tire him out or something, or he's got to give up so that it gets out of the blue. The blue doesn't do me any good. Quit, 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 quit. Yes, yes, come on, come on. It's getting so close. I'm so near. I'm so near achieving my goals. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> now I'm thinking on the side about the Sasquatch. He's either up here in the Alpine or he's out in like the the forested areas because that's where like the famous picture of sasquatch is 23 pounds and five damn ounces the lake trout that sounds like a really regular species honestly uh, i have nothing to spend money on so i guess i just take the experience yeah there's nothing there's nothing left to spend is the lake trout the one is that the the legend the lake trout is totally the legend. I thought it was going to be some, like, fantasy species. I still haven't even caught a golden trout yet, so I should probably do that. At some point, I got true angler. I, I don't know how many fish I needed to catch to earn that title. Now I can- now I've accomplished it. I went for the river legend too soon. I hadn't- I hadn't actually caught all the different fish species yet, so now I gotta go take a step back and try and catch just a regular sized golden trout or golden whatever he's gonna be here's what a bigger size grayling looks like just the, the different art for it but yet yeah, still not getting quite what I'm looking for there the first golden trout he's tiny and pretty well useless but now I have one my collection feels complete minus a Sasquatch I would really I would really love a Sasquatch in here Massive grayling. Just massive. I don't know what I'm still doing. I should just be walking around through the forests and the mountains and stuff trying to catch Sasquatch. Maybe play a little bit of uh, local natives, Death Cab for Cutie, Lizzo, Foo Fighters. I don't know, I'm trying to think of bands I saw at Sasquatch Festival. Hmm, I'm not sure if finding Sasquatch is random or if you have to like find a specific area. I wish that he was like always in the same place and then if you find this little secret extra area then you'll see him and he'll get spooked and like run away or something like that and then that's it. You've done it. Because it seems like it might be random which is like frustrating to just keep coming and going from different places and not even really knowing exactly where I should be looking for him. Is he going to be out in the open? Is he going to be tucked away in some like secret area like one of these caves or something? I don't know which map. I'm quite lost for what to do. Eventually. Yes! Oh, here he is! Sasquatch! No, I didn't mean to startle you! Come back! <laughs> Crap. 
<laughs> I wanted to actually see him out here, like, th throwing in his line and, and, and doing some fishing, and I wanted to, like, sneak up aside and, like, fish beside him or something. I immediately chased him off. Crap. Well, I'm so glad I at least got to see him, even if it was, like, as brief as possible. I thought I would maybe talk to him or something, or that it would have, like... Uh, an exclamation of like, you know, when you find like the the petroglyphs and stuff and you're like, oh wow, we're all oh, a stalactite forest and things like that. But we still got to see him. That's all I was <laughs> looking for. Because now, when we go back to the main menu here, we have all the trophies. The Sasquatch sighting. Ah, uh, he's great. I probably don't have actual world records for the different fish or anything like that. But I still managed to catch and do everything that I was hoping to. There you guys have it, River Legends, a fly fishing adventure. It would be fun to have on the phone. It seems like it is a good fit for the phone. It would be a good way to like kill five, 10 minutes here and there, do a couple quick attempts and everything like that. Yeah, so I'll have links to Steam and mobile options down below if you guys want to check it out for yourself. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.